mantras of our divine mother our divine mother says do not think of what you have been think only of what you want to be and you are sure to progress with my love and blessing says our divine mother words of our divine mother taken from the collective works of our divine mother words of the mother part 3 topic prayer and calling the divine page 207 our divine mother says the whole of our life should be a prayer offered to the divine integral prayer the whole being is concentrated in a single prayer to the divine a divine mother says when coming out of sleep you must keep quiet for a few moments and consecrate the coming day to the divine praying to remember him always and in all circumstances before going to sleep you must concentrate for a few moments look into the day that has passed remember when and where you have forgotten the divine and pray that such forgetting should not happen again date 31st august 1953 when waking up every moment let us pray for a day of complete consecration let us pray with all our heart that the divine work may be accomplished all sincere prayers are granted but it may take some time to realize them materially all sincere prayers are granted every call is answered since your call surely since your calls surely are heard and receive an answer we ought to be in a constant state of aspiration we ought to be in a constant state of aspiration but when we cannot aspire let us pray with the simplicity of a child we pray that the divine should teach us ever more enlighten us more and more dispel our ignorance illumine our mind It is never in vain that an ardent and sincere prayer is addressed to the divine grace. The supreme is divine knowledge and perfect unity. At each moment of the day, let us call to him so that we may be nothing else than himself. When in our despair, we cry to the divine always he answers to our call we pray to the divine to accept the ardent flame of our gratitude and of our joyous and fully confident adherence shiur bindu says in one letter all prayer rightly offered brings us closer to the divine and establishes the right relation with him les plus grandes victoires sont celles qui font le moins de bruit La manifestation d'un monde nouveau 
ne s'annonce pas à coups de tambour. The greatest victories are the least noisy. The manifestation of a new world is not proclaimed by beat of a drum. What is meant by Sri Aurobindo says in one letter, all prayer rightly offered brings us closer to the divine and establishes right relation with him. What is meant by right, rightly offered in this letter? Will you please elucidate? For this our Divine Mother says, with humility and sincerity. It goes without saying that all bargaining spirit is an insincerity that takes away all the value from the prayer. Nothing is difficult for those who call sincerely the Divine, since our Divine Mother. A Divine Mother says about prayers, on 12th Jan 1932 and says to complete what I told you yesterday about Radha's dance, I have noted this down as an indication of the thought and feeling Radha must have within her when she stands at the end in front of Krishna. Every thought of my mind, every emotion of my heart, Every moment of my being, every feeling and every sensation, each cell of my body, each drop of my blood, all, all is yours, yours absolutely, yours without reserve. You can decide my life or my death, my happiness or my sorrow my pleasure or my pain. Whatever you do with me, whatever comes to me from you, will lead me to the divine rapture. Radha's prayer given by a Divine Mother on 13th Jan 1932, our Divine Mother says, O Do, whom at first sight I knew for the Lord of my being and my God, receive my offering. Thine are all my thoughts, all my emotions, all the sentiments of my heart, all my sensations, all the moments of my life, each cell of my body, each drop of my blood, I am absolutely and altogether thine, thine without reserve. What thou wilt of me, that I shall be, whether thou choosest for me life or death, happiness or sorrow, Pleasure or suffering, all that comes to me from thee will be welcome. Each one of thy gifts will be always for me a gift divine, bringing with it the supreme felicity. My Lord, make me entirely thine. My Lord, let me be entirely and sincerely yours. O oh Lord, give me a perfect sincerity. O oh Lord, let me be perfectly yours forever. Aspiration address to the Supreme. Let all in me be always at your service. O oh Lord, 
awaken in me an ardent desire to know thee i aspire that my life may be consecrated to thy service let me always follow thy divine guidance let me be aware of my true destiny o lord thy sweetness has entered into my soul and thou has filled all my being with joy my heart is at peace my mind is free from impatience and in all things i rely on thy will with the smiling confidence of a child my lord every day in all circumstances let me repeat with the full sincerity of my heart may thy will be done and not mine lord with all my soul i want to accomplish what thou directest me to do my lord deliver me from all vanity make me humble and sincere o lord most humbly i pray that i may be at the height of my endeavor that nothing in me conscious or unconscious may betray thee by failing to serve in thy sacred mission with a solemn devotion i salute thee a daily prayer o lord let me be free from fear and worry so that i can always serve you to the best of my ability lord give me the strength of a total and perfect sincerity that i may be worthy of thy realization o oh, my heart be great enough for the victory my heart aspires to be vast enough for a thy victory i aspire to be delivered from all egoistic weakness and all unconscious insincerity lord grant that my vision of things may be direct and objective and my acts be completely transformed by it lord grant that a stupidity once committed and recognized may never be repeated my lord grant me this quiet trust in thee which overcomes all difficulties grant me a quiet trust a peaceful strength an ardent faith and devotion lord grant that i may be entirely and eternally faithful to thee lord grant this grace that i may never forget thee my lord make the consciousness clear and precise the speech thoroughly true the surrender complete the calm absolute and transform the whole being into an ocean of light and love make me entirely transparent that my consciousness may unite with thine i aspire to place at thy feet all the riches of this world o oh lord i pray to thee guide my footsteps enlighten my mind that at every moment and in all things i may do exactly what thou wantest me to do lord let me lord give me perfect sincerity that sincerity which will lead me straight to thee lord give me thy blessings that i may become more and more sincere 
Lord, give me the real happiness, that which depends only upon Thee. O oh Lord, let me be what You want me to be. I belong to Thee and I wish to know Thee, so that I do may be only what Thou wantest me to do. Lord of mercy, make me worthy of Thy grace. Lord, I want to be Yours and worthy of You. Make me Your ideal child. Morning Prayer O oh, my Lord, my sweet Mother, let me be Yours, absolutely Yours, perfectly Yours. Your force, your light, your love will protect me against all evils. Midday Prayer O oh Lord, sweet Mother, I am Yours and pray to be more and more perfectly Yours. A Prayer at Night O oh my Lord, sweet Mother, your force is with me, your light and your love, and you will save me from all difficulties. My sweet Lord and my little mother, give me the true love, the love that forgets itself. My Lord, my mother, you are always with me, with your blessings and your grace. Your presence is the supreme protection. Remember that the mother is always with you, says our Lord. Address her as follows and she will pull you out of all difficulties. O oh, mother, thou art the light of my intelligence, the purity of my soul, the quiet strength of of my vital, the endurance of my body. I rely on Thy. I rely on Thee alone and want to be entirely Thy. Make me surmount all obstacles on the way. I have a sweet little mother. I have a sweet little mother who lives in my heart. We are so happy together. We shall never part.